Welcome back. Let's spend a few minutes talking about this term that we hear a lot, demand. Demand is a relationship between price and the quantity that buyers wish to purchase. So let's get into it. So thinking about demand, we should probably just define what is demand? What do we mean when we hear the term demand from an economist? So demand is the name for the relationship, remember, a relationship between price of a good and the quantity that consumers are willing and able to purchase, what economists call the quantity demanded. So the key point here is that demand is not a number. Demand is a relationship. It's a series of combinations of price and quantity, a relationship, not a single number. So let's get back to what is demand. So we said demand is the name of the relationship between price of a good and the quantity that consumers are willing and able to purchase, this quantity demanded. Well, what is quantity demanded? So quantity demanded is the amount of a good that buyers are willing and able to purchase. Now for every single price, there's a corresponding quantity demanded. So let's think about demand from an individual perspective and a market perspective. So if we start off and we think about asparagus, ugh, asparagus, yuck, I'm not buying asparagus doesn't matter what the price is, my quantity demanded is zero. But market demand is the sum of all these individual demands. So my demand, your demand, everybody's demand. So at each price, what's the quantity demanded? It's the sum of all of our individual quantity demanded. So we need to step back and think about total quantity demanded from all the potential buyers. So we said demand is a relationship. Well, how is price related to quantity demanded? What is this relationship? Well, as you would expect, an increase in price leads to a decrease in quantity demanded. This is known as the law of demand. So the law of demand is the claim that, other things equal, when price rises, the quantity demanded of a good falls. So how do we look at this relationship? We could look at it in a monster table with an infinite number of prices and quantity demanded, or it's typically done looking at it as a graph. So if demand is a relationship, a series of price and quantity combinations, and it's an infinite number of potential combinations, the best way to think about this and look at it is to present it as a curve on a graph. And we'll look more at that in another video. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.